Hello everyone, welcome to a summary of whichever number stream it is that we did. Attendance have dropped off to some extent, people have real world, real life commitments, that's fine, no problem. Lawrence did say that he would probably not be playing with us, <coughs> excuse me, anymore after we launched the moon, uh, the rocket to the moon, which has happened. Did I just see something moving over here? Oh, it's probably just that smoke. Um, <coughs> I did! Look at this cheeky little spot, get out of here! Why are you there? It is absolute disgrace. Actually unbelievable, Jeff. Get that in there. What is this even? This is the laser. This is one of the mining lasers. It's one of the laser drills, I think. They're very large structures, which is... I like large structures, as you probably already know. Um, because it could... It's not that it makes you use the world in a like a more intelligent we well, you know it's an infinite amount of world it's the same as factorio but at the same time if you just put everything in a single block you only need a few blocks you don't need to make space you don't need to figure out how to stick things together so big structures like that big fan of so i've moved a lot of stuff this all used to be full of carpenters if you recall uh, and it, i, I moved them. <laughs> they're not there anymore um what i've done is i've taken every carpenter that was on a chain of multiple carpenters on the same liquid because many little carpenters require fluid in the tank. Here, these two carpenters here were the ones that were already here that did not require fluid, but interestingly enough, this one didn't have a recipe, um, which I think is the case. <laughs> I don't have any recipes in my inventory that could have gone in there, because I moved everything downstairs and just left these dangling, and then I shifted them, because they were sort of on top. It's weird. Um, I, I just tidied it up a little bit. Over here is stuff that Tristan has done. So each one of these... Ah, good. Destabilized redstone. We'll come back to this. Um, each one of these is basically, there are not many carpenters that need that tank, that fluid, right? One of those, one of those for crushed ice, one of these for just water, which is interesting. I'm surprised that we don't have very many carpenter recipes that just need water. What is it? Uh, it is no thing. <laughs> Tristan, that's not right. This one is also not a thing. This one is a thing. It's a triple battery, okay. Uh, and that's destabilized redstone, which might actually already be downstairs. Um, and then uh, resonant flux ducts are using molten lumium. That's all fine. And there was one that was using molten... Yes, this one here is using liquid starlight, but it's being piped in directly. So all this was set up by Tristan. And a lot of this is working around the carpenters that just used to be there and aren't anymore. So what I've done is I've kind of given the colors of the connections up here a bit of a meaning. So we already knew that cyan here was for the big crafting tree. That's a uh, 32 channels just completely taken up. You can't have them. Um, we, so I added a couple more. There's lime now. There's, well, there was always lime. There was always purple. So purple has always been down there making those weird contraptions. Um, and uh, it sort of became a bit assorted. You know, some things were plugged into this one. Some things were plugged into that one. That one's plugged into purple. This one's plugged into goodness knows what. So I mean, it's like, uh, what are we doing? And who knows? So um, I added a couple more. This one's white. And the reason I kept doing these is because, you know, these were filling up. We we plugged many things into the same coloured endpoint, and then we couldn't plug any more in, even if the thing could... If you plug an eight-channel cable in over there, and you put eight things on the end of it, that's great, apart from the fact that you don't have eight spare at this end of it. So I've built some more stuff downstairs. Now, remember that I started building this area for the crafting tree. And I did build a space over there. So this is the crafting tree down here. And I built this a while ago, just on the theory that we'd need a bit of space for stuff, and it turns out we did. So I dug it out a huge amount. This is destabilized redstone here as well, which is why I was interested. And look, triple battery. So that's already being crafted, so what's wrong with you? Um, but there was a second one. Actually, I won't go this way, because I'll show you the other thing, which is that I actually addressed a minor complaint. It wasn't even a complaint, it was merely an observation, which is that this was over there. The next step was over there. I didn't like it either, so I dug out all of this area and put it here, and now you land amongst the carpenters where you belong. But there's two here. This is the interesting thing. So this one is the triple battery. This one is gold cable. So we can move gold cable down here, because what I was unsure about at this point was what the fourth one would be. So what I've done is I've moved silicone here, super glue here, crystalline here, and I've dedicated the white to a large extent to being fluids. Uh, it's not completely true because there are many um, 
channels in use on the white one upstairs that are not for fluids, but generally speaking, the white has got enough capacity for fluids. There's only four here. Um, and that's including this one, which I haven't output yet. So now that I know that there are two carpenters that need decrystal destabilized redstone, I can make this one for that. Um, otherwise, nothing else, no other liquid so far apart from that one has had more than one carpenter associated with it, which kind of made it feel a bit silly to have a whole tank and a whole bunch of things. But if we get more, we'll just add another rank of them over here, right? So here's the other thing I've done. This here is using 22 of 32 channels. It can support 32 carpenters down. Um, and then up there, we can support another 32 carpenters. So I've got two dense cables, one, two. This one's attached to lime and this one's attached to red. They are completely dedicated to putting carpenters on them. Specifically these carpenters. Because if you start using them for anything else, um, we're going to then, you know, add carpenters down here and go, why it no work. So this trunk here and this trunk here are for the interfaces into carpenters. You can fit eight. Because before, if you remember, we had one... Um, one of the channels for the carpenter recipes was actually taken up by the fluid exporter that was filling the carpenters up. So you can only have seven in a row. I thought, look, everything works in eight. So let's add it all up to eight. I mean, in this one, look, of course, there's only six here anyway. So we've got plenty of capacity down here. But we've got plenty of capacity down here, so let's not mess it up. Uh, I'm going to keep it this way. So here we've got, you know, it's a very compact sort of system. I've... Uh, put a nice little glass you can even see down there look. I put glass in the ground so that you're not bumping up and down walking on the cables but you can still see where the you know the piping goes and I've only bothered with one of these I was actually thinking of having this pair each in each position but of course we don't need the flux ducts to go around a bit upstairs by the way you can climb any cable that has an anchor on it I discovered this so this is a ladder now <laughs> it goes up here into the sort of the loft area uh, we intersected with this. Now I've moved all these up one square because they were longer than necessary and they're all connected to the uh, the display stands and the central thing for the infusion craft, which we just looked at, which is on the purple network. So what I've had to do is be very careful not to connect accidentally these um, item ducts to these item ducts because these item ducts are also carrying power, um, which is helpful because the power cable that goes upstairs, shush, spider, actually comes up here through there, around the back, see that? And then it actually intersects this in in oops, here, and goes along there. So what I've done is I've allowed that intersection, but I've disconnected all the rest of them on the theory that if I don't let them connect, it will be clear what's doing what, right? You can see that they're separate. I've separated them as much as I possibly can, so nice and clear. Um, talking about progress, we got through a lot of quests as usual. There's even quest lines to hand in or again. So someone's been doing something. Mystical agriculture. Oh, that's what we did last time, actually. Uh, we've made rubber seeds. Brilliant. Mike went through when he did uh, manage to get on. He went through and did some of the earlier quest lines. We've actually completely completed tier zero because he did find the sad face friend. I don't remember where that was. Kirby, I think. There was a find Kirby quest and he was looking sad. Maybe it's actually in uh, tier one. I don't know. But we did find Kirby. Mike found Kirby. Don't know what that did. It gave us a reward. That'll do. We're now, of course, on tier 5. And we've got all this way. So we've done a lot of this. Last time, I think we had finished the decontamination unit. So we've gone all the way through very heavy oxygen plants. Space suits tier 2. Thermal padding, which I am wearing in my extra spaces. Uh, tier 2 rocket components. A tier 2 rocket. And the next step is Mars. So we'll be going to Mars on stream uh we tried to make a moon buggy but we didn't have the schematics we do now have the schematics but we haven't made it yet and uh, there's another star generator but what we, what we want what we want to be doing as well is to automate the wither because the nether star is going to be useful very soon um we also started making this neutron collector i think is in my it's not on my list anymore um but it's annoying there's a reason we haven't made it let's find out what it is um, I think it's this evil infused iron, actually. The, the recipe was annoying. Now, did I did we teach it but not be able to make it? Because this is my news tactic. If you want to catch up. Yeah, what we did is we I just teach the system to make something. And then I ask for it. And then it says no. <laughs> 
and then I go white. And it says, you haven't got enough nether stars, told you. Uh, you haven't got enough pulverized mana infused metal, which I assume we can make somehow. Uh, you haven't got enough abyssum ingots, you haven't got enough this, that, and the other, right? So you either teach it to make the missing things. Oh, come on. It's because of these. These battery upgrade kits cannot be auto crafted. You have to make them yourself. Because you have to make a crescent hammer for each one and then it doesn't work anyway. <laughs> so uh, to anyone watching from the who's going to be playing with us, you have to make these yourself. Sorry, I tried a long time ago and it just didn't work. Um, on the other hand, I have a rocket tier two because you can now craft a rocket. <laughs> it, this was easy. I taught the system how to make it and it made it. How? Yellow wool is missing now. Brilliant. Okay. Um, that's because we automated so much stuff. And I'm kind of hoping all those carpenters still work because there were so many recipes. I don't really want to go around fiddling about with it. Uh, someone has actually fixed this. I derped this a while ago. I accidentally connected these two to the blue one instead of putting a. So I, I throttled everything with the bottleneck of eight channels there by accident. Much of the stuff that we are now doing is done in here. <clears throat> so we've got. Uh, refined obsidian, transfer for hoppers are made in here. Transfer pipes are made in here. From AE2. These look like the old RF tools or actual editions, whatever it was. Transfer pipes. Excuse me, come back. Uh, and then in here, there's a lot of the heavy duty plates, compressed this, that, and the other that used to be downstairs, now no longer are. We did discover an issue. There is one thing also that cannot be implemented in Galactic Craft using um, automation. One of these recipes is, is it here for a reason. These recipes, tier one and tier two armor layer, uh, sorry, tier two and tier three armor layer. See, it's six titanium plates. But if you ever drop four titanium plates in like this, you end up with the recipe for titanium, compressed titanium. It will accept the four, it will make the recipe, and then it'll accept the next two and you'll be stuck. It will not put all six in because it will always make the plates version, compressed titanium, like this, right? It will do this. So if you try and put two more in, it will just go there and there, and it will keep making these, which is silly. So you, if you ever ask for armor layer for any reason, you have to come down here and do it yourself. <laughs> Sorry, but that's the way it is. It's like that. What else can we talk about? Oh, I've got some of this stuff now. Look, lots of interfaces, lots of marble from making all that stuff. Going in? There we go. You can go away. You can go away. Radical, and then you and you are mine. Ha 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 ha. So yeah, I'm gonna move some more of these downstairs. I think <clears throat> now that we know that destabilized redstone is used for at least one other thing, we can maybe make a chain of it, or we could just keep them up here. Um, I would like very much to move the stuff out of that corner because the other thing that I've put down here um, is these. I've started making fluid transposers and magma crucibles because here I'm making lava cells and here I'm outputting silicon to turn it into silicone uh, with a level emitter so that when we've got 20, 200 buckets of silicone, it stops. Right. So this is outputting silicone until we don't need any anymore. This is creating lava cells by outputting lava which is on the purple network which is of course one of the do what you want networks um, and then this one's on the brown network which is kind of another one that we're using for what well, i'm using for outputting into sort of carpenters that need a little bit of something but not too much maybe we need more destabilized redstone ones maybe we don't maybe we don't actually need this fourth layer at all i'm sure that we will end up automating more stuff so we can make a tier two rocket we can go to mars should we go to the moon now and see what's up yeah we probably should i will take you to the moon and i will meet you oh no let's go to the launch pad I'll show you how it works and then i'll meet you when we go because tristan has set up uh on the moon on the moon a helpful ah lag a helpful um, launch pad that we can use to get back again, which will be apparently permanently fueled, or at least well fueled for much of the time. So what you do is you put your nine launch pads down. I'm going to use my tier two rocket, but I will not go to Mars, uh, much as you might want me to, because we'll save that for the stream. Uh, I think we should probably have a, 
like a something underneath her so that it isn't just floating in the air but that's fine you put this on here boop that's a bigger rocket than last time you saw us go to um mars anyway so i wouldn't worry about it too much i'm guessing this fills you up with fuel have i got very heavy i've got plenty of oxygen i've got frequency module i've got all my stuff i've got some thermal padding in case i need it which i probably don't because i'm only going to mars uh, to moon i'm not going to mars you hide i don't need you all right so what you do is you get in and you press space to launch and i'll see you when i get there just show you this interface it I'll just show you this interface in action. Apologies for this false start, but uh, OBS confused me a little bit there. Um, this confuses me because I'm not sure if it's lag or something that makes it go wrong. But oh, new galaxies. Milky Way, Proxima Secure. So um, this is fun. We have Mercury, Venus, Overworld, Mars, Uranus, Neptune, Jupiter, Ceres, Asteroids, Saturn, Pluto, Homing. Look at this. It's just everything. What's all this? It's amazing. We could go anywhere. Uh, but we're not we're going to the moon so it's overworld moon and then i think you just press launch but this didn't work last time but i'm going to try it now all right work this time cool and then i crash and then we press space to slow down i think you've seen this before i'll uh, see you when i land boop we are landed and apparently that's how you get out why am i why am i hurting what's happening ah i didn't put my ah I thought I'd check this. No! Oh! <laughs> I checked it, but I just looked at it and went, what? Uh, oxygen. Oh, now you tell me. Thank you. Do this, do this, do this, do this. Am I okay? No. Now we need this, 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 this. Anyway, that's how you do it wrong. <laughs> Welcome to the moon. Uh, I, I died. This is what the moon looks like. I've got F7 on. How would it look like without the uh, stars all over it? There you go. Uh, in here, there is a rocket and a landing pad. And I crash. Are we crashing? Alright, what is not made clear is how I can eat this banana on the moon. In theory, I had a space helmet on, and I'm pretty sure that we know that because when I came here without a space helmet on, like a fool, I died. That was fun. I'm not going to open that. Uh, if that crashes again, then I'll just end the episode, so I'll do it at the end. Um, and then I'll get someone to fix it. <laughs> there's a moon turf, there's dirt, and there's a moon... Um, there's a moon village. So these things fall occasionally. <laughs> um, the the alien villages are just very noisy. So the fallen meter is just the meteoric iron. I don't think we worry about meteoric iron right now because I think we may have a seed for it. Uh, is there a seed for it? Because if there is, then yeah, look, meteoric iron seeds. So we probably did that. I guess and there's a seed already for it. These. These chaps are very low pitched. This is what I was telling you about several episodes ago. Here's the lunar sapphires to oxygen mask. Everybody has the same basic sail. Uh, it's a lunar lunar sapphire to an oxygen mask. Here's one. What have you got? Let me guess. Lunar sapphire to oxygen mask. I don't have my bouncy boots. I don't have my elytra because I've got other things on. Oh look, same same trade, huh? Oh, look, same, same trade. Uh, not sure about how things grow without oxygen slash carbon dioxide. Oh, look, this one's cheaper. You're undermining the market. You? And look at this. Just, how are you surviving in this village if you never rebuild after a meteor strike? Anyway, uh, one thing that did turn out to be a problem was the fact if you put a torch down, it burns out because there's no oxygen. Despite the fact that there's plenty of oxygen, well, carbon dioxide, for the trees and if it's carbon dioxide for the trees and the trees should be creating oxygen for us uh, there's a hole in the ground somewhere it's probably where that big pole is at least i've got still my sojourner's sash i can still step up blocks mana is still a thing up here so down here is our cave basically it's hello this is how you mine in the moon uh, this is how you get set back a bit from lag it's been happening a reasonably large amount actually kind of pesky it's a lot more difficult to go down a staircase on the moon because you don't fall as fast <laughs> if you've noticed uh cool what is the zero 
I can't tell what Y level we're at. 400 and something. What? I didn't mean to press uh, Y, I meant to press J. So where are we? 27? Maybe. I'm wondering if there's bedrock on the moon or if it just falls through. It's an interesting shape. This, this looks like something else has carved it. Someone uh, leave a comment to tell me what has carved this because that looks like um, Thorncraft and it is not. <laughs> I know it's not because it, there is no Thorncraft. Let me walk, walk around here with our bow. It will light us up as we go along and then we'll get thoroughly lost. Um, and then, oh yeah, look, bedrock. Moon bedrock. What's down here, look? Just sapphires. Oh, those would be the lunar sapphires that we were looking for. I'm going to pick some up because they seem to be rather rather relatively rare, which is not something I wished I'd started saying when I did start saying it, but there you go. And that the uh, enemies on the moon are also a little bit pesky. They um, have extra HP. They are very often the nasty skeletons or something similar to that, and they have uh, helmets on. But they do tend to drop, well, they do sometimes drop uh, oxygen. Oh, look, cheese, I told you. So there is cheese on the moon. I like that the caves actually go into the bedrock and just sort of end here. Now, they don't go below the bedrock, and therefore you're not, you know, falling into the void all the time. I'm not doing torches on the right thing, even though I should be. <laughs> um, because the torches don't work anyway. So, what difference does it make? I mean, I get lost, obviously. There's moon coal. This is moon rock now, not moon turf. Is that different? Do I get moon cobblestone? No. Uh, but it does mean I'm going to get lost, so look out for that. Oh, look, baddies. I don't have my... What you will find is that uh, things can still catch fire on the moon. So if you have... Uh, Fire arrow. Ooh. I like that that's a piercing arrow, I forgot that. I have to repair this though, huh? Give me that. Thank you. Uh, super heat. I thought this went through, because it seems to hit two things. Maybe it does. Maybe that's an end speed also, because it was very quick. How'd you go over here? I'm gonna eat a banana in my space helmet. Uh, more bananas. So that's the moon. Uh, I mean, there's not much more to it. That could have. While we're here, we've probably got a. Um, I'm pretty sure we've got a plant for that. Actually, when I get back, I'll show you what I did with that. <laughs> we've got a couple of spaces now outside. Well, I'll tell you now because if I don't make it back, you're not gonna sh you're gonna see it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, you know, tough. <laughs> you're gonna have to take my word for it. Um, there are now two spaces in our garden, who art in heaven, where we can um, grow things fast. So I finally um, come on then, bite your legs off. <laughs> Finally, fix the automation of like um, the the glow the grow accelerator the growth accelerator they're called growth accelerators that's right I'm gonna just leap there's too many baddies fix the automation of growth accelerator so I made a bunch of them and then it turned out that our crops are actually too low to put all 64 underneath them which is at ah, 63 technically why are there things moving in my peripheral vision it's very scary um, so we have two spots that can be growth accelerated which I've done I have growth accelerated two spots one of which is steel I believe and the other one of which is goodness knows what um, but they're not at their max yet. They they need to go up higher in order to be maxed to did out, which is fun and interesting. Not much else to say. Um, we've been working through the quests, and as you can see, that's a very difficult job because there's a lot of them. But we have made us tier two rocket, so I can now take us all to Mars. Are you just ignoring this Nacquidar, or are we? Uh, in the next stream, so I hope to see you on Thursday. 
if I get back without crashing, I'll see you in the overworld. And if not, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. There will be more Minecraft content. Tuesdays will be either a video or a stream. They're alternating. It's my own hair. That's what it is. Um, there will be either a video or a stream. Uh, alternating weeks. This video will be the same series as the stream. And the stream will be a couple of hours long. And we'll just work through the quests in that. Uh, and the videos will be a brief recap of the stream. And then, you know, condensed. Because I can chop out the mining and stuff on a video. But the streams are there to be chill. We hang out. We talk. We, you know shoot the breeze or whatever it is that they say in this day and age let's have a look at how quickly we are using our oxygen so we had 7200 in here so it's not stupidly quick um but it is if you don't have a lot of it and it's the first time you've been here when you're looking for everything it's quick especially if of course you only got two of these so yeah uh cavopolis that'll be the stream on tuesdays and the accompanying videos every alternate Tuesday. This is going to continue on Friday. It's going to be Friday this week, Thursday next week. If you're watching in the future, it makes no sense to you and you don't need to worry about it. Uh, and I am going to open this. If it dies, thank you for watching. And if it doesn't, I'll see you in a minute. Hooray! Rocket launch pad. So this is, you put it back together. Uh, so I'll meet you back on the overworld. Uh, you'll observe that the way this works is that there is an ender tank. Which is great, actually. There's an ender tank that fills up the fuel loader. And I think we've automated fuel. I, I vaguely remember... Yeah, I did. In fact, I'll show you. Because that's one of the things I haven't covered. We've automated fuel. So there's always going to be fuel in the system to fill up that ender tank. See you on the other side. Thought I'd just capture this while it's... It is loading in slowly and it's pesky, but... I haven't seen this before because the last time it, I think it took so long for me to load in that I didn't have a, any time left. You parachute in, it's brilliant, and you only take a little bit of damage. Look at that, and you're stuck in F5 mode. Um, anyway, here we are. Welcome home. Um, I want to do this. Does this button not do... Yeah, I could have just pressed that button, but I was panicking, okay? Leave me alone. So there isn't an ender chest down here, an ender tank down here, which is probably okay. It's not like the fuel isn't nearby. So we did, we upgraded the fuel. So over here, let's see what the, don't worry about that. There's a worm. These worms are supposed to be fixing that, aren't they? Oh, there's a one missing. Maybe. So these two on the end with wither skeleton and rubber seeds, that seems weird, are, they should be the two which have the growth accelerators under them. Because what I did was I lined these two stacks of them up with the end two of the um, the plant interactors. So this goes on for a huge, huge distance, but that is not at 64. So we can't put 63 underneath it. Plus the bedrock's wonky, so, you know, there's a, we need at least 65 on one of them. Hey, look, a shooting star. Hang on, let's go and, let's go and, can we do something with that? Is that a, is that a astral sorcery thing? Let's go and see. Well, maybe the telescope's in the system. I'm hearing a monster being chomped again. Did we get a fresh one? We got a new zombie! Red hosting zombie of WTF Imba. Yep, pleasant enough. Here it is. So if I uh, use this and have a look at that. How do I... How do I move it? How do I move it? Do I just change the direction? Oh, it's gone anyway. That's a shame. I thought you could point this in a different direction. We've done a lot of stuff up here, actually. I don't think I showed you this. Uh, we made a huge mana battery, which is still not full. Don't give me this. That's right. Um, I'll put it back in the system because it's just going to get exported again. Um, I made... Oh, we've run out of seed. So over here... Oh, I need to take... <laughs> I made this. You can't turn this off. You just have to take it off. Um, so over here, we have these, which are exporting spruce leaves. But apparently, we do not have any of. We have 
red spruce leaf. So I've used them all up. Sorry about that. On stream, you'll see this. It was great. These two flowers eat leaves and they will produce an amount of mana per leaf block that they use. But they will keep eating the whole tree's worth of leaves and then they will have a rest. So what I did is I put, <laughs> put two down. Um, each of these will be quick enough to place the spruce leaves in it that this is going to go round and round in a circle eating them and then by the time it gets round again the next one will be there so this successfully tricks these into thinking that there is a full tree there and they will keep going until they are completely full of mana at which point this one will take over and it will be completely full of mana uh, i can make multiple of them but what i've actually done is use up all of our spruce leaves which are being created but apparently not fast enough uh, although to be honest I did expect faster, so let's go and see what's wrong with that. I mean, this is how long it takes. <laughs> okay, 27, 28, 28. So that's just too slow, basically. That is too slow for this uh, job. We're going to have to make a tree farm that goes a lot faster than that if we want um, spruce leaves to be faster than that. This does not seem to have a void upgrade on it. So, goodness knows what's happening to the spruce wood. We've got 22,000 of those. I think we should void this, or make this bigger and then void it, because we're going to get a lot of these three things and none of that, because that's going to be used up. So we need a way of getting spruce leaves without backfilling on the other stuff that we don't want. Hello, why are you up here? Go away. There is a dog. Also, we made some fuel. The fuel is down here next to the thing that I told you you have to do yourself. Uh, it's the same basic system, it's just that, again, because these Galacticraft things are so annoying <laughs> because you have to put things in the right side, yeah? So these ones, they're taking their power in from the front. This one takes its power in from the top. These ones take their items in from the top and output them at the bottom. This one takes its fuel in from one side, its oil from one side, and the sports of fuel from the other side. And here's what we did. Again, look, you just say 300,000 millibuckets of fuel, and then you stop. So, there you go. There's that. Uh, any more automation? Not too much, I don't think. I kind of need some more food. We should probably automate some more food. I tried to separate the whole food system um, or something, but it didn't go too well. So, at some point, we'll figure out how to like make a um, auto-crafting food menu. But putting all the food, stu food stuff into the AE system was a bad idea because there's just so much of it that you can't tell it just to be over there. There's there's too many there's too many items. You can filter the storage unit, right? You can filter this, but you can only filter it by what is allowed to put in it. So this chest has a huge number of things, different things in it, and it's got two pages. So there's so much space, and there is not enough space to store all the things that can be in it in the filter here. So I just give it. In fact, you should be disconnected. So let's just do that. Uh, put this back on. Thank you. There you go. So, that's that. Thanks for watching. We didn't crash. So, uh, <laughs> good to, glad to see it. Very helpful. Why, where did this come from? I believe that means that I can now go very, very far away. I think that means that I can now use this from the moon uh, until that runs out. But I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> Maybe it was a question one I didn't notice. Maybe it fell out or something and I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, hello, Ram. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on Tuesday for the Caveopolis stream. I'll see you on Friday for the Minecraft stream. Uh, it was a bit of a long episode, but that's how we like them. And I'll see you next time. Bye.